tragedy at the Veterans Home of California in Yonville. Three women hostages and a gunman dead. The nearly eight-hour standoff with police apparently started when the suspect barged into a going-away party. They were having cake and, you know, toasting and all that, and then well, apparently he just walked in uh, with, this, uh, with this rifle. The three victims were employees of the Pathway Home, a counseling service for veterans located on the campus of the nation's largest veterans home. They helped veterans who suffered with PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. It's a tragic piece of news, one that we were really hoping we wouldn't have to come before the public to give. Authorities have identified the victims as 42-year-old Jennifer Golick, Pathway Home Clinical Director, 48-year-old Christine Lober, Executive Director, and 29-year-old Jennifer Gonzalez, a clinical psychologist. In a statement, Pathway Home said these brave women were accomplished professionals who dedicated their careers to serving our nation's veterans. There were three wonderful professional, talented young women who get up every morning and go to work to help veterans, and sadly, they're gone. The gunman's been identified as 36-year-old Albert Wong from Sacramento. Police say Wong, who had served in the military, was a former program participant at the Pathway House. He left two weeks ago. Early in the standoff, Wong and officers fired at each other. After the building was put in lockdown, hostage negotiators spent hours trying to make contact. It was just a lot of, um, just, you know, like the residents, they were just, you know, like just, they were calm and they, they, they just didn't know what, what to who expect or anything like that. But um, I was just thinking of wanting to go home to my son.